Hey everybody, how's it going? Hope you're having a lovely day. So today I'd like to follow up in a video that I did that was very critical of Fairphone, where I think that I was unfair to them given some of what I've learned about their products recently. And I just wanted to go over that in a video because, you know, every now and then I'm going to get something wrong and be a little bit unfair. And I figured the right thing to do is to go back and correct it. So in this video, I said the Fairphone reduces e-waste by removing the headphone jack. Now, Fairphone's marketing is that they're sustainable devices. You know, they're not made in the manner other devices are. They're designed to be more more sustainable, using more recycled materials, all that kind of, you know, fair trade materials and all that kind of stuff. Yet they did a video where they were explaining removing the headphone jack, and they also have an article on their website about it. And they were saying that removing the headphone jack actually helps make the phone more sustainable. Now, people in my audience don't tend to appreciate paying more money to get less functionality, and they don't appreciate being pissed on and being told that it's raining. When you look further through their site, you'll see that they sell wireless earbuds now. And it was actually at the exact same time that they started selling wireless earbuds that cost about $100 that you cannot replace the battery on that they remove the headphone jack from their product, which is not a very sustainable thing to do. It just seems like a way to sell more of your Bluetooth earbuds that are literally disposable because you cannot replace the battery on them. However, there is something that I neglected to mention in that video because I didn't know it at the time. But now that I know, I figured I would show you all because I think that's the fair thing to do. So many phones today, like many consumer electronic products, do not come with schematics. And I did a video over here, a word on principles, t-shirts, and being the asshole, where I explained why it is very important that you know, when it comes to right to repair, if you can't have a half-ass right to repair, if you don't have a schematic, you're not really gonna be able to do actual repair of the product. And I set a line in the sand there in 2015 when I started selling the schematics or die t-shirt. Now, if you take a look, this is on Fairphone's website. Again, this is not on Venafix. It is not on some pirated web form or some shit. It's not on some random Romanian FTP server. This is on Fairphone.com, and I will link it down below. This is information for repairers and recyclers. And when you scroll through, you'll see that you have a list of every single component that goes into this phone. Literally every single component has its own part number. And then when you scroll down further, you'll see a board view, just like what I use or Paul Daniels or Jessa Jones or Jesse Cruz uses when doing board repairs on our YouTube channels. And you can see all of that over here. It tells you where the different inductors are, where the different filters are, where the different resistors and capacitors are. And it tells you the value for every single one of those components. But in addition to that, you also get a complete schematic. To be clear, this is not some schematic where everything is redacted. This is pretty much everything. Like, look at this. You can see every single signal on every single chip. Uh, when you scroll down over here, you can see the, you know, again, PMIC, uh, capacitors to ground on each of the lines, what the connectors are for, uh, pretty much the name of every single signal on every single chip. Again, it's not the same as the board view that I use with Flex board view. It's not, it's not as complete as ZXW tool, but this is more than what any cell phone manufacturer is ever going to give you. Just to be clear, like I've never seen a cell phone manufacturer actually make this stuff available on their own website. So in addition to this kind of sticking by their claim of wanting to make a more repairable device and actually standing behind it, what it also means is that they most likely actually did all this design and work and engineering themselves. This isn't some thing where they're just buying some white box shit design that somebody else came out with from China. They actually put this together, uh, which is in way, 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 way more difficult and way more expensive than just buying somebody else's, you know, white boxed design and then putting your logo on it. They're not stamping the logo on something somebody else put together. They are actually doing all the hard work to get all of the clearances from the FCC and so on and so forth to be able to import it. They did all the design. They own the design, obviously, since they're able to publish an actual schematic. Now, do I still believe to this day that what they are saying about removing the headphone jack is bullshit? Yes, I do. And I, I, I just to be clear, just, you know, somebody reached out to me from the company to say, hey, would you like to talk to an engineer about that? And I said, sure, but just so we're on the same page, if what you said on your website and your video is true, I don't see how my stance is actually going to change in any meaningful way. And that was, you know, I, I tried to be polite, but that was pretty much the end of that conversation. I stand behind everything I said in this video. I genuinely do. But at the same time, I think it's really important that you guys realize that in spite of the criticism that I have of them in the headphone jack and the non-sustainable earbuds, they, they're literally the only cell phone manufacturer to make this available. Yeah, you know, this is not a redacted schematic. This is not a schematic that you have to sign an NDA for. This is literally like everything. And again, you know, is it in the flex board view like format that I'm used to that makes things easy? No, it's it's not it's not the same as the XW tool or something like that. But 
no cell phone manufacturer does this. Like Apple doesn't make this stuff available. Samsung's not making this available. LG or HTC or Google is not making this available. But Fairphone did. And they, they deserve some credit for this. So credit where credit is due for making schematics available and for, you know, sticking by the whole schematics or die principle of right to repair. We may disagree on the headphone jack, but, you know, this video really did not have context. And I should have said in this video when I made it that in spite of the fact that we disagree on this one area, they are literally the only cell phone manufacturer that I know of on planet Earth that is selling a reasonably usable and somewhat modern not completely buggy pile of shit smartphones to the public at a reasonable price where you can actually get a schematic. So that's about it for today. As always, I hope you learned something. My apologies for not including this information in my original video. And uh, here's Oreo. He's a cat. Oreo the cat. He's a good boy. He's a good little kitten. We're going to pet Oreo the cat. We're going to pet him. Look at how cute he is. Look at how cute that cat is. You know, sometimes people say that when I make the videos 10 minutes long, it's just to make more of that sweet, sweet YouTube money. That I actually extend the videos beyond where they're supposed to go. Just so that I can make more money off of YouTube monetization and ad revenue. I might just do that here. I, I genuinely, I don't believe anybody on this platform actually stares at that little OBS counter and thinks, oh crap, I have to keep talking for three minutes so I can make 18 more cents on this video. I don't think people do that. But I might just do it with the cat. I might just pet the cat for another three minutes. Maybe another three minutes and five seconds. We literally do nothing but pet the cat. Look at this little cat. Look at the cat. He's so cute. He is so cute. Look at this little guy. He's so cute. He's a good boy. What a good boy. We pet the cat. We pet the cat. Do you have a schematic Oreo? Do you have a schematic Oreo? I... All right, that's it for today, and as always, I hope you learned something.